Jessica Singsank with the IKM Man and Girls track team uh, joining us here again today at the uh, Chelsea and Kenya's early bird meetup in Lake City. And uh, Jessica, let's start off with the uh, first event of the day for you. Uh, the high jump uh, sounds like things went pretty well for you today. Yep. Um, well, my steps were a little bit of an issue today, but after jumping five foot at BB, I knew I was capable of that. So I just had to kind of work with what I had and go along with the flow. Now you said your steps were off a little bit. There was a reason for that tonight, yes, right? I didn't have my correct measurements with, so that kind of caused an issue in the beginning. Early season, those yeah. kind of things happen, right? It's better to get it out of the way now. Absolutely. What was your goal coming into this year, uh, especially after the BV meet there a couple weekends ago? Um, well, I only reached my personal best five foot one time last year, so reaching it on the first meet of the season is very encouraging, and I hope that I can um, at least get the minimum of five in the most of the meets I run in and compete this year. But did you did you come close to getting it tonight? I did. It was just one little nick. Otherwise, I had I was very close. What adjustments do you think you need to make to, to get that five foot again? Um, well, I know I'm definitely running on a quicker surface with new spikes, and it's the first time I've been outside on the turf this year, so I just need to give myself a little more room and just allow myself to get over before I run up so close. Oh, and I know I talked to you earlier. You were pretty excited about being back in the 100. Yes. Uh, talk about that. How did you feel coming out of the blocks, and how'd the race go? Um, I was excited because I haven't ran it since last year and only a couple times last year, so I was very nervous because it's more of a mental thing more than the 200. You have that short distance and you just have to get ahead of everybody, which I was pretty happy. I got second place and I was in the second heat, so I beat out a couple of girls in the first heat or the third heat, fastest heat. What do you like so much about the 100? Um, probably that I don't get to run it that often, so I didn't know really how capable I was going into it, so it was exciting to find out that I can still do that after running it in junior high. <laughs> do you think after tonight's performance it'll be a, a, an event you'll get to be in more this year? I bet I will be in it more, especially we don't have very many 100 runners. We're kind of short on that, especially with new incoming freshmen, so it's probably something you'll see me in again. Just finished up the 4 by 2 How'd the 4 by 2 go for you, and who else was in it with you? Um, Shauna Wrighton, Riley Mulbauer, and Lexi Leslie, and we're kind of just trying to work some kinks out because we have a freshman and a sophomore in there, which me and Lexi have been running it together for a couple years. So we're just trying out new things and seeing how we can do. We got um, second in our heat. Handoffs go okay. That seems to be the biggest thing yeah. at this point of the year. Well, again, with our, our freshmen, we're just trying to get things in line. Me and Lexi, like I said, have been we've been partners in this for a long time, so we kind of have it down. But it went all right. We just need to go Okay, and who's in the sprint med with you coming up yet? Um, Lexi Leslie, Cassidy Brinning, and Jen Mullen. Okay. Cassidy is a very good 400 runner, so we're hoping to see a good finish tonight. All right, well, we'll have to stick around and watch that finish then. Thanks for joining us, Jessica. Thank you. Congratulations on a good start to the year. Thanks.